All right, thank you, Jim. Ronan O'Shea here back on the Ustream feed, joined by the offensive coordinator of the USF Bulls, Todd Fitch. Now I want to get to a couple of your questions. Again, Bulls fans, send your questions into the chat room. This is your opportunity to interact with the offensive coordinator of the Bulls, Todd Fitch. I'm going to start here with a question sent in from Steve. And uh, Coach, Steve wants to know, what are the most important intangibles for the incoming offensive linemen? You know, linemen are, are an interesting group to recruit because they're kind of like cows. Like they hang out in herds, I like to say. You always see the locker room, the linemen are always together. But I, I think toughness uh, is a, a key ingredient and, and, and intelligence, football intelligence. Those guys are a lot of high IQs in terms of football as they become uh, experienced in your system. And, you know, they are the glue of the team a lot of times, especially on the offensive side of the ball. And I really feel good about the, the core of those guys we have coming in. We have a good, solid numbers class. And they're all good people. Uh, they come from different shapes and sizes. We've got a good mixture of tackles, inside players. So I, I think it's going to be a group that as this thing develops over the, the next few years, they're going to be a real strong point for us. And it really seemed like this past year the offensive line was a special group of young men. Sure was. And we knew it going into the season. That was one of our strengths with game experience and some really good players in there also. And, uh, you know, through the game one through the bowl game, they were kind of the steadying force, you know, them and probably a guy like Mo Plancher and, and Richard Kelly, those guys were the kind of the rocks uh, because, you know, on offense through a course of a season, you're going to have ups, you're going to have downs, you're going to have injuries, all those things. But the offensive line group was one of the steadying forces we had. Let's go back into the chat room here. A question comes in from Tom, shifting gears a little bit to the running back situation. He wants to know, Coach, uh, how do you see the transfer running backs playing into the offense? Well, we had two young men that uh, came in and sat out last year, uh, Daryl Scott and uh, Dante Acock, uh, both really talented players. Uh, I think the first thing is they're good people that have fit in well with our team as red shirts and uh, in the classroom have done a nice job of you know being accountable for what we wanted to do. Uh, it will be great competition in the spring. We're going to have some really good players battling for playing time. And uh, Demetrius Murray, who had a big role in our season last year, those two young men I talked about, Marcus Shaw, who's a talented young man. Uh, so there's going to be four guys banging heads out there. And it's going to be fun to watch because great competition creates great players. Uh, and we're very blessed right now to have uh, four quality guys going to be teeing up here in spring ball. Well, the running backs certainly have some big shoes to fill after everything Mo Plancher gave this program over the last six years. Well, there's no doubt. You know, Mo is, a, besides being a good football player, like I said, he was a steadying force, very even keeled player, and kind of showed up for work and was a leader by his uh, preparation and the way he uh, approached the game. And uh, I think that was good for some of those transfers to see that they've been in other schools and uh, seen some good players, obviously. But uh, I think it was probably a good uh, observation for them for a year to see how a guy who came back for a sixth year loved to play the game and what it's all about. A couple more questions here from inside the chat room. Uh, Nick wants to know if we could see a little more trickeration out of B.J. Daniels this upcoming season. <laughs> well, you know, we go back and uh, we'll self-examine ourselves, like I said, starting next week. And uh, when we tried some of the things we did this year, some of the reverses, some of the double pass things, you know, mm -hmm. flea flickers, they were very successful for us. Uh, you know, as this thing went on, you know, in the middle of the year, we've, we became very vanilla for, for some reasons to let B.J. get his feet underneath him. He was struggling at times there, and then he got nicked, and we kind of went through a growing uh, season there in the middle. Uh, but that's something, obviously, as this thing goes into spring practice, our kids are a lot more familiar with what we want to do. And uh, I, I definitely think you'll see us open some things up for BJ. We'll see a lot of competition this spring football. Well, I think so. I, you know, that's the, as I mentioned earlier, the running backs. I think that's the key to being a great program. You know, we got here a year ago. We had one quarterback on the roster. You know, so he was competing with himself every day, trying to learn the system. Now we'll go into spring practice with four quarterbacks that are on scholarship that are going to be competing for time. I talked about the running backs, receiver. We have some good young players that earn playing time this year that have to step into the role of Dante DeBogan, that he's now departed. Uh, some guys coming back off injuries and Sterling Griffin and uh, A.J. Love. So I, I like the chemistry of the positions as we go across them offensively because within each room, there's going to be a great competition to become a starter, to be a contributor, and kind of be the go-to guy. And uh, it, it's going to be fun for me as a coach to sit back and watch them compete because if you don't want to compete on a daily basis, your reps will be, you know, they'll decrease. Mm -hmm. And that's the easiest way to coach a position. And I think for the fan, as you get a chance to see us in the spring game and, you know, kind of follow us through spring practice, there are going to be some exciting football players. I think Terrence, uh, Mitchell, Terrence Mitchell is going to be a very good offensive player. Uh, there, there are some really exciting guys that I'm looking forward to getting on the field again with. 
Well, Coach, it's, it's an exciting day for USF football. Bulls fans very optimistic about the future of this program. Certainly that resonates throughout the halls here at the athletic department as well. And it was a lot of fun watching this team the last year, the first year under this new coaching staff, an eight-win season, a trip to the Meineke Car Care Bowl in the win, and looking forward to getting into spring football and uh, seeing what we can do. We'll see you then. All right, that's the offensive coordinator of the Bulls, Todd Fitch. Keep your questions rolling in inside the chat room. Much more here on National Signing Day coverage at GoUSFBulls.com. Be sure to click on Inside National Signing Day Central for exclusive video of the newest commits here at the University of South Florida. We'll have more with Jim Lauk in just a moment as the National Letters of Intent continue to roll on in here to the USF Athletic Department.